what's up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna do an actual review and like eye looks with the danessa myricks mini light works volume 3 the experience palette illuminating eye and face pigments so you all saw my eye splash video earlier this week i asked y'all if y'all want to look some of y'all said you did want to look so i'm thinking about going ahead and just doing a simple look i kind of want to do a bearish tone look as opposed to um the blue the blue and purple excuse me like you expected me to so i think we're just gonna go with these two shades down here's the strawberry moon and the aurora shade and then i'm gonna take some shades out of the primal palette from blend bunny cosmetics because y'all know i live for a blend bunny cosmetics palette love this palette so much um and i'll probably dip into like some of these shades right here to get the eye look done so i'm gonna go off camera now get my life in order do this eye look and i'll be right back girl okay girl okay i decided that she did a strawberry dream so that's what i'm going ahead with so i'm gonna do this so i took these two shades from the primal palette right here the light pink and the red and then i just took the shade aurora and strawberry moon like i told y'all and we're gonna use those so let's get started I went with the shade Nectar, which is the light pink and primal. I've been really loving this shade. Whenever I do a pink look in this palette, I'm like, I always want to reach for it. I just think it's gorgeous. So, I try to turn my head to where you can see everything I do. Which is why I, sometimes I feel like I look at a weird angle, but I'm like, I'm trying to make sure you can see it, all of what's happening. Now, this palette doesn't have fallout, but I feel like the um, other one, right? The um, okay, the one about to finger it after that. That's why I'm gonna give y'all one look at this palette. I would do two and do the other one, but I'm not. I'm gonna do that on Instagram. Just um, post a look of it, and if you want to see it, I'll go ahead and make a look of it. But yeah, I'm trying to go see the movie Nope tomorrow. I'm like, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to. And um, yeah, so I'm. I don't know what it is about this pink shade, but I'm like, I love it as my airbrush shade with all the pink and reddish looks I've been doing this palette I, I think Maggie did a great job with that shade I absolutely love it <sighs> it's easy to be one of the ones I um reach for this palette a lot next I'm gonna take the shade warning that's the light red underneath it and I just literally started packing on top of here and I like the color that it changes it to when you combine these two colors I feel like it just gets off this gorgeous like want to be strawberry bubble gummish like deeper version of the pink that's um the shade nectar or how it translates on my eyes when you combine the two of them so i love the shade for that so i'm just pressing that into okay i don't know what it is but lately when i blend out my shades if y'all haven't noticed i'll be going like all the way like underneath the brow bone i feel like i didn't used to do it like that but then recently i just started doing like the last three or four looks i've been noticing myself like i'm like that used to all the way underneath the brow bone but mm, i'm feeling it though so well, what I'm feeling is done. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't put a dark shade for the outer V. I literally just started the shimmer aurora on the outer V and then brought it in and then put strawberry moon in the inner corner toward the front of the lid. So I'm here for that. See, this look isn't that difficult. It's not gonna take that long, but it looks absolutely stunning, in my opinion. But clearly, I'm going to do that. Um, love that. Can I go glitter room and cut the crease? I had so much fun at the concert for the weekend, um, Sunday, y'all, it was so much fun. Um, it was kind of short though, cause it was only like an hour long and he made us like sit and wait like a super long time before he even like came out. And then he just performed like two of my favorite songs, he didn't do In Your Eyes and then he didn't do like Moth to a Flame, so I was feeling some type of way about that. I'm like, uh, don't tell me he done when you didn't finish my song. Sorry, you, did, you didn't sing my songs, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to bring yourself back on the stage, Abel. M Mr. Tesfay, um, get back up here. And like, sing my song. Cause I was definitely like, I was whining to my friend about when we were leaving. I'm like, he didn't sing it. What, is, what, what, why? But other than that, it was cool. Let me see, I'm gonna take the shade Aurora now and put it on the outer V. And just, I'm loving how dual chrome is changing and I'm like, 
shaping my eye. But I literally just shaped this my eye to be instead of like doing a dark matte in the shape because I thought that would be cool and something different that I don't know how to do. And I'm trying to, like I said, get out different styles and stuff of doing my um, makeup. Which is why I started putting my um, other shade first and then putting my outer V and all that. I started from the top and working the bottom, whereas I used to start on the outer V and then do the rest of this. So I've been trying to change that out, but in the mirror, I see like the green shift that goes along with the shade, but I feel like when you see here, it just looks pink and purplish. So I'm liking that about it as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade, not or take the shade Strawberry Moon and go toward the front of the eye like so. So I feel like it's just a gorgeous shade that goes on top of the other shade. And as soon as I saw this palette and got to like try these colors on each eye, I knew I wanted to do a combination like this. So I figured I'd start off with the one that I really wanted to do. And then we're going to another one. See what I'm saying? Like it just looks gorgeous. I feel like this is a perfect sparkly shade to go with um Aurora. And I actually didn't pick an inner corner shade. I'm gonna just go ahead and drag the, um, let me dust this off first. I actually just went ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the shade, what is it? Strawberry Moon in the inner corner as well. So just kind of wrap it around here. finished looks we back y'all on up so you can see it in all its glory i really love this combination like i've really been into like combining the pinks and reds lately i don't know what's going on with that because y'all know i live for a purple green to blue moment but you know the pinks and the reds are like calling to me right now and giving me cute little moments like they did for this look right here and i'm kind of here for it so let me know what you think down below but i really like this eye look and it was a really simple evening one to achieve you get you two bright colors put like the um, one on the outer V and one on the lid and call it a day. I'm curious to see how Strawberry Moon would look like on top of um, Aurora. I feel like that would be a pretty cool combination too. And you just um, pick some neutral colors and then put that as your bright pop on the lid if you're afraid of colorful mattes. And I feel like that would be great for you. But this is my finished eye look y'all. I'm in love with it. I'm obsessed. I really love those two colors. Like I told y'all, it was the only one color in the palette I didn't really like. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. I'll try to serve you a pink and I'll try to serve you a blue and green look next time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.